Results from three major laboratories, two in the United States and one in Europe, suggest that cracks are starting to appear in the so-called standard model. There's nothing surprising about that. Scientists are well aware that the standard model is incomplete and must eventually give way to a more powerful, overarching theory. But it's exciting that we live at a time when that breakthrough may be about to happen. The standard model is the best theoretical scheme we have at present to describe the known fundamental particles in nature. These include electrons, quarks, which make up the familiar protons and neutrons in atoms, and photons, or particles of light. Altogether, there are 17 different particles in the standard model. Among them are particles of matter, and also particles that are responsible for three of the four known basic forces in the universe, electromagnetism and the strong and weak forces. The standard model has served physicists well for several decades and has been gradually refined since it was first introduced in the 1970s. But there's no place in it for gravity, nor does it account for what happened to all the antimatter that must have formed along with ordinary matter at the time of the Big Bang nor does it have anything to say about what scientists now believe are the two dominant components of the universe, dark matter and dark energy. Various ideas have been put forward to replace the standard model with a theory of everything that would unite all of physics and solve these great mysteries that surround us. One of them is string theory, another goes by the name of M-theory. There are variants of each and others besides, but the trouble is, they're all purely mathematical. What we urgently need are data from experiments to put these theories to the test. And maybe, just maybe, that's what we now have from high energy experiments carried out at Brookhaven Laboratory on Long Island, New York, at Fermilab in Illinois, and at the Large Hadron Collider near Geneva. All three experiments have given results suggesting that a subatomic particle known as the muon has properties that differ from those predicted by the standard model. The muon is similar to the electron but about 200 times heavier. Muons are formed when other particles collide at high energy, such as when cosmic rays strike atoms in Earth's atmosphere. They can also be produced in large numbers by particle accelerators. Because, like electrons, they're charged and they spin around, they act like little magnets. Placed in a strong magnetic field, the direction of the muon's internal magnet precesses or wobbles, just like a child's spinning top does. The rate at which the muon wobbles in an external magnetic field depends on the strength of its internal magnet and is given by a quantity known as the g-factor. The standard model predicts an incredibly precise value for the g-factor, but this value doesn't agree with the one that's actually been measured first by an experiment at Brookhaven in 2001, and then in a newer version of the same experiment at Fermilab, the results of which were announced on April 7, 2021. The Fermilab results confirm what was found at Brookhaven two decades earlier, but they greatly increase the probability that the results are real and not due to some statistical fluke. Physicists are cautious by nature, particle physicists most of all because they're dealing with huge amounts of data concerning events on a subatomic scale. They like to have a level of confidence known as five sigma before they're happy to claim a discovery. Five sigma, or five standard deviations, equates to a better than one in a million chance that the results are just a random fluke. Together, the Brookhaven and Fermilab experiments give a significance level of 4.2 sigma, or odds of about one in 40,000 that the results aren't real. Meanwhile, researchers at the Large Hadron Collider, the LHC, have found other evidence of particles behaving in a way that the standard model can't explain. The LHC can produce large numbers of what are called beauty quarks or bottom quarks. These have a very short lifetime before they decay into electrons and muons. 
According to the standard model, the same number of electrons and muons should be produced. But in sifting through a mountain of data collected between 2012 and 2018, scientists have found that beauty quarks give rise to an excess of electrons. If this result continues to hold up after the LHC is restarted in 2022, following a major upgrade, it will be another reason to believe that we're on the brink of an era of new physics.